It's pretty hard to lose the Adelaide United players tonight in that kit, but the giveaway here, Majok has played it through, and it's Daniel Bresson. Can he score? It's a good save, and the follow-up is cleared away. And Bresson, who was the hero against Logan Lightning, was unable to finish the one-on-one, -on -one, and he knows it was a big chance. Well, that's a, that's a fantastic chance for Adelaide City there. And that, that move started with Bresson as the ball's been played out to Dorigo. He's come from his line and really put Dorigo under pressure, caused that turnover. Just that heavy touch right at the end should have been 1-0 for Adelaide City. Ibasuki wins the header out to the left. And now Blackwood's on the move. Clough is free as a bird over on the right, but he's going to have to tuck in here if he wants the ball. Constantopoulos. Now Kiddo, first time. Ibasuki is there on the turn, and it's blocked. The follow-up is lashed in. Adelaide United do get the opening goal. And it's Zach Clough who's able to breach the back of the net, and that will settle the nerves for those Reds fans. Adelaide United 1, Adelaide City 0. Nervous touch from Brown. It's given away to Ibasuki, and he could be through here. It's Hiroshi Ibasuki, and it's wide. It's a goal kick, no touch from the keeper, and Hiroshi Ibasuki thought he'd made it 2-0. So corners from the left haven't quite been on the money. Let's see what a corner from the right can do. To the far post, the header into the woodwork. So close. Buko can't believe it. City have had a catalogue of chances and somehow they still haven't scored. Well, a great ball in there from Bressan. Just really whips that in to the far post and Buko left unmarked. Majok gets the cross. Bressan, Waters! Oh, what a goal! Zach Waters! Adelaide City are level and it's an all-in celebration! What a strike there from Zach Waters has absolutely nailed that one. Gets the cut back and Brassan again, just that blind pass as we spoke about in the first half. Zach Waters with the overlapping run, left foot across the face of Joe Gauci and he really had no chance. Could do nothing but watch that one hit the back of the net. What a hit! Is that Zach Waters or Roberto Carlos? He's bogged in, <laughs> he has landed that! last thing they would want is to have both their starting centre-backs out of the game, especially with Adelaide United on the charge. Here's Bernardo, and it's in! What a finish! That might have done it. Louis Dorigo makes it 2-1. And all three games that have gone to extra time have had a goal in the early exchanges. Dorigo, no exception here, is that Adelaide United at last through to the quarterfinals. There's still plenty of time to go. We'll try for third time, Lucky. This one again into the pack of players. It falls in! <laughs> Dorber's done it! Matt Dorber! It's 2-2! <laughs> Adelaide City do provide the twist in the tail. And Matthew Dorber, the school teacher by day, he taught a lesson there. Yes, Off to penalties. 2-2 after 120 minutes. One day. Score. So that was emphatic. Saved. Gauchi comes up with the stop. And he scores to the bottom left. Thumps it in. Adelaide City get on the board in the shootout. Popovich. Oh, there was a touch from the keeper, but not enough to keep it out. Waters for City. Saved again. And United are on the verge. It's Halloran. And they're there. Adelaide City hearts are broken. Adelaide United get the win in the penalty shootout. And it ends here in Adelaide with a 4-1 penalty shootout result after a 2-2 draw.